Hello and welcome to another video on the Philosophical Weightlifting YouTube channel. My name is Joshua Gibson, I am your host, and today I'm bringing you a collaborative effort between Dan Bell of Rubber City Weightlifting and myself. I didn't get an opportunity to film a lead-in to this video while I was at Rubber City, so instead I thought I would do this. So the video will cover the sweeping deadlift, its application in the snatch and clean, how it teaches and strengthens the pull, and then also common issues that can be remediated with the use of the sweeping deadlift. We also discuss a few uh, alternative technical points, um, why rattle uh, at the contact point may be leading you astray, how you can work to resolve that, and just other general weightlifting information. Hopefully you all enjoy the video. If you do, please let me know what you think in the comment section down below, share it with your friends, uh, and you can also leave a thumbs up and until next time, enjoy the video. As soon as you think snatch, you get right into that pattern where it's right around the knees you start doping the torso. When it's, a, when it's a snatch, you have to be doing this. Yeah. You have to stay over the bar longer. That's one of the reasons you come to the balls of your feet is the bar is left too far forward before you start opening your torso. Yeah. So stay over, try to stay over as long in the actual snatch as you do in the sweeping depth. You won't, but if you try, you'll get closer. Yeah. Bar back, the bar is getting deeper and deeper over your base of balance. Right. So if you don't get the bar back deep over your base of balance, as soon as you start opening your torso, you're going to rebalance your body to drive the bar up. You're going to come to the front of your foot because the bar is forward. Um, if you stay over long enough, the bar gets deep into your base. You're also shortening the moment arm, but it gives you a lot more leverage when you open your torso up to get a fast, a, a good drive and fast turnaround. Gotcha. So. Would you say this is one, one of the more common problems is opening up too early? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very common. Very common. Because Th this feels weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's, people don't want to do that. It also will, if you have weak hamstrings, that'll bring it out right there. Gotcha. If your hamstrings are weak or tight or both, staying over the bar long enough is really going to challenge them. One of the things that, um, and this happened with great lifters too, if your lats aren't strong enough, or if you don't pay attention to it, when the bar gets above the knee, there'll be a gap that opens up. People keep pushing and they'll stay over, but as they keep pushing and staying over, there's a gap that opens up between the bar and the front of the thigh. Um, as soon as that gap opens up, you've left the bar out front and you have to come to it. This is why people talk about where the bar brushes on the thighs, like it should brush high. It should brush from the kneecap all the way up to where it releases when you start moving down. So if you leave the bar up front and you have to come to it, you're going to bump it away to some degree. And that rattle that you hear is indicative of bumping the bar. Mm. Same thing in the snatch. I don't want to hear a rattle coming through there. The world's best don't have some sort of rattle coming off the hip. Yeah. I've listened, you know, with, with the sound on, listened to Lasha, and Lasha doesn't have any rattle when he's doing 225. So, yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, doubling down on that pressure back, and you can practice that with the sweeping deadlift. And those sweeping deadlifts can get pretty heavy, like 80, 85, even 90%. Mm -hmm. Just practicing snatch and clean, staying over and making it brush from the top of the kneecap all the way up all the way up. Mm -hmm. 